Uh, so, this poem, uh, this poem is called God Weed, and I guess it's about, like I mentioned earlier, my, uh, my first experience with my own infidelity. So, uh, I don't know what to talk about that. No, infidelity is a sad, sad thing. I cried a lot too. You said you cried. Keep this poem in my mind where she can't find it. It's of no concern to home. Mm. I would tell you it's about not fucking you, but that would only turn you on. Mm. But the fact that the burden you're on is the bad one makes me feel so disrespectful. Somehow, you accepting that makes me want to treat you special. Mm. And we both know I ain't gonna leave my house and my wife for your babies when we both got babies, and I ain't even about that life. I ain't seeing out that twice travel path that starts at your lips and ends at a bed where I can't lay. I've been kneeling in all the wrong confessional booths, so most nights I can't pray. And I can't say how I really feel, but it's becoming hard to fight. So I just leave you with my good weed, because I know you're going to need God tonight. And I need him too to keep all the shit I do from coming from dark to light. Can't even bring your name up when she's here for fear that I'll start a fight. But most days, that's all me and her do anyway. Don't know what me and her trying to prove anyway when we ain't even really happy. At least that's what you would say. And you know better than most because I trusted and confided in you. Maybe let you so close to the driver's seat it brought out the rider in you. Woo! And it ain't like I provided for you or we did much more than converse. But between telling you things I didn't tell her first and fucking, I'm not sure which is worse. Mm. So although this situation is strange for me, how you got here really ain't odd. You just stayed in my corner, and that's the exact place where I praise God. Mm. So maybe you came along to give me what I thought I needed, and I was led into temptation, and I was just being greedy. Don't want to believe it's something about you that could take my hunger and feed it. You fed my ego so much, I started feeling myself. Maybe I was too conceited in my truth about myself, and I knew you would concede it. But even though you treated me how I always thought I wanted to be treated, you could never really play the right role for me. So despite what I may say to your face, I'll always feel like you could never replace the life you stole from me. My family, my future, my personal goals for me. I just wish you would have valued yourself more. So the way it is right now, I don't know if I should say this right now, but I know I miss my single life a lot less then than I miss my wife now. And it took our entire reconciliation for me to finish this poem. Now I just keep it in my mind where she can't find it. It's of no concern to home.